GG. Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Ukulele. We have got a few loose ends to tie up, haven't we? We need to find both of the keys that go in both of the doors. There was a massive door underneath the water, as well as one at the very top of that long mountain that goes into that little teeny tiny castle at the top. And then I had a little look around at other people that have been playing the demo, and I found out that you can actually make it in time between these two ledges here. So uh, this one here, that one dead ahead of us, and also this one that we're going to make our way over to you can actually get from one to the other with the uh, explosive projectile that you can get in one single run before it runs out so that's what we're going to go for right now um other than that i don't know much else i don't know where those keys are that we spoke about so they're going to be uh, something to find but what i'm thinking is once we have the dn ray and we get turned into like the massive like snowmobile i think it is or not snowmobile snow truck plow truck um then i reckon that might open up a couple more areas for us like this little snow pile here i reckon has something to do with it um that's my best guess so far there we go, across to there, yeah, good one! Go, 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 go! Through the middle of the mouth. Come on, come on, come on, and fire! Yes! Got it, first time! The molly cool is ours! Uh, which way do we want to drop down here? To there, there you go. Nice, ooh, ouch! Sod off, sod off the barrier, there you go. Something that people pointed out last time as well is the fact that the eyeballs take over inanimate objects, but when they take over a skull, they don't sit themselves inside of the eyeball sockets, which is a little bit weird, but that's fine. Anyway, back to Dr. Puss. Hello, friend. Oh, goodness, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's fast forward past all of this. Ah, here we go. If you can find me this world's molecule, I can power up the DN ray and help you on your adventure. All right, let's do it. Uh, we found your molecule, Doc. Magnificent! If you're ready to start the transformation, approach the DN ray and press A. Hold still, though. It might sting. Okay. That is a massive gun, isn't it? <laughs> so cool, though. I love it. Right, anyway, let's get ourselves on the platform. Let's hit A. Are you ready to transform? I am indeed. Let's go. Oh, wiggly, wobbly, wibbly. Hey, look at that! We're a truck. Extraordinary! A snow plow. I wasn't expecting that. To accelerate, use L and boost with X. Also, would you mind clearing my driveway? Uh, no. Hell no. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on a minute. Oh, this control's a bit weird. And there's your boost. So, you press forwards to go. You press back to apparently do a UE. I, this is me holding down right now. So I'm guessing it goes in the direction of the camera. So if I were to turn the camera, say, to there and press forwards, you go like that. But then if I turn it that way and press forwards, you go like that. Okay, so if I do that and press back, it's going to come towards the camera. Right. Okay. So now we've got to try and... Oh, God, it is really swervy. How sharp of a turn can you make? Oh, no. When you hold left, it doesn't just turn you on the spot. It actually, like, pushes you forwards. Oh, this is going to take some getting used to, isn't it? It's not quite how I expected it con to control. Like, when you control Ukraine lately normally, that, that controls exactly how you would want it to. But this, not so much. You have to be really careful with these twists and turns. Oh, jeez. Okay, take your time. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, now this is the part I'm worried about. Huh? Huh? Okay, you good? Yeah, you're good. You're good. Oh, <laughs> careful. There we go. Right, around the side. Now this is the part I'm worried about. Got to try and get onto there without overreaching. Oh, go on. Yes. Oh, jeez. I hope this is how we get rid of that. Uh, forwards and jump. Nice. No! No, forwards, forwards. Oh, my God, we saved ourselves. Oh, jeez. That's because I went to press, like, back to stop myself from overachieving, and it didn't do that for us at all. Um, let me go back that way. I'm just trying to turn around so I can face this thing. Uh, forwards. Nice. Now, what happens if I dash into it? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Well, hey, bring that here and I'll give you a massive hug. That was one of the snowmen. Was that the one that was... I think he was the one that was up this way. I think he was through that cave and he was in that, that water bit at the top, wasn't he? Let's go have a little look. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else we can hit with the uh, the snowmobile. Gotta look for more piles of snow, I'm guessing. Let's have a little looky. Oh, there's one right there, actually. Ha, 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 ha. What do we got? What was that? Oh, it's another hat. My hat. I need to look slick, so bring it back here quick. So, oh, I don't know which hat was which. 
So we've already got a one hat and now a second one. There was a guy in that cave that needed one. And there was one in that really cold cave as well. A lot of people were in agreement with me as well that um, it's a little bit weird that you can walk into a cave and it'd be too cold for you. And you get sort of like penalized for it. It didn't really seem all that fair. Oh, can we break ice? I bet we can't. I bet we need to have a fire flower. Yeah, to get through that. God damn it. Maybe if we give this guy his hat, then maybe we'll get some kind of fire buff. I don't know. Probably not. Let's go inside of here. Oh, no. You change out of it as well. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, we might as well grab this guy again. Go on. Oh, no. come on. Come here. Obviously, I've had to reset the level because this is on a completely separate day. Oh, oh yeah. Gotcha. All right, cool. Right, are you the one with the hat? Please say you are. I'm feeling far less manly with that hat of mine missing. So, were you not the hat guy? Oh, let me saw. <laughs> it sounds just like it. Um, okay. So, that hat wasn't for you. So, it's from one of the other guys. It wasn't a... I never really got to see what the hat was. Was it a pirate hat? It doesn't really show us. View totals. No, that doesn't show us for that level. Let me just scroll through these real quick. Oh, we only have the two available to us. Oh. Thought maybe it could show us which hat it was. So there was a snowman down here. Here we go. You were missing a hat, friend, weren't you? Let's have a little chinwag. Did we get a pirate hat? Yar. I wish someone would find me missing hat. So we don't have your hat either. Whose hat is this? Okay, I'm going to grab that fire flower. You ready? Ready? Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Oh, jeez. No, it's run out already. No way. Oh, no, that's my stamina that's run out. Oh, balls. Come on, 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 come on. Keep the fire flower on. Good. All right, just keep going. We might be able to trick this. We might be able to trick this. Oh, the wall is right there. No, it was so close. Maybe it was because the stamina ran out. Surely you don't have to run that. I'm going to try one more time. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go. Mm, that's close. Fire, fire, fire. You can hear it. Oh, I've broken the game again. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, I hit the wall in the corner. That means it's probably going to run out. Okay, fire. Breathe fire. Oh, the fire, like, licked it. Yes. Oh, my God, I did it. I don't think that's the right way to do it, but I finally did it. Oh, my word. All right, so that now means that we've got that pagey, but we don't have... I mean, I'm assuming we don't have a hat for this guy in here. And obviously, when we go in here, we're going to freeze like crazy. That's so weird. Okay, let me just chat to this guy. Oh, okay, apparently we did get a hat for him. They put shorts on his head. All right, well, that's you sorted out then, mate. Let me get out of this cave before I die. So, <laughs> That's a roundabout way of getting that pagey. It's clearly designed so you're going to have to come in from the underside to begin with. Uh, let's have a little hibbity hop in here and see if I have one more hat for this guy through here. I'm wondering maybe if you help all of the snowmen, then he'll, they'll really, really like you and they'll give you probably a pagey. Let's have a little chinwag with this guy. Hello, friend. Yeah, there's a cowboy hat for you. Woody's feeling all good. He's back on the wagon. So yeah, so you're not doing much either. Just got a hat for you. I tell you what, there might be a snowman in here. I think there is. I think when you get next to the plants over in this direction. Where was it? Yeah, just by the fire one. Hello, friend. Is it your hat we found? Oh, yeah, look, there we go. Thanks for finding my hat. Now I can continue my witchy chat. Is that it? For more rhymes, I'm sure you're eager, but our dialogue budget is rather meager. Oh, look. There's a snow pile right here. I wonder if we go back, use the DN ray, get turned into the snowmobile or the snow plow, and then come through the crystalline cave, if that will basically grant us a fire flower really close to that really cold cavern. I reckon it might do. Because remember, we're not allowed to touch the water, so we'll have to go through the cave as a means of not trying to go over the uh, the main body of the uh, the water outside. There you go. Get changed up. Good lad. All right. Let's go, Yuka. Let's go, Laylee. That boost is kind of weird because the boost kind of launches you forwards, but then it also kind of halts you immediately. <laughs> it's weird. It's almost like if you boost and then stop, then the, the travel speed of moving normally would probably get you to there at the same time. It'd be nice if it was a boost and then you had kind of like a continuous roll out the other side of it. I'm just trucking, everyone's looking at me. Big old eyes on the snowman, they're for free. 
Cause I'm Yuka and she's Laylee. We haven't been around here lately. Our cousin Banjo is supreme. Oh, what a dream. Here we go. Right, let's see what we got inside of you. Another hat. Another goddamn hat. Oh, no, you know what? I already remember where the other one was. So you go up the really long, like, path to climb up the, uh, the level. And I remember when we made that big jump, the one, the jump that I wasn't expecting to make, I remember on the other side of there, there was a pile of snow. So I reckon we've probably got to take the, uh, the car up the hill. You ready for this? See what we get. I'm hoping it's going to be good. I'm hoping it's going to be all right and just chill. Yeah, it seems to cl climb this all right. All right, take it nice and slowly, dude. There you go. Press against the wall as much as you need to. That's fine. Right, so across here. Yeah, look, there's a pile of snow just there. So go like that. Go on, make the jump. Oh my god, what an ollie. There you are. There's another pirate hat. Yes. Anything else to be done up here? I doubt there are any more snow piles, but I'm just wondering if the truck has any more abilities beyond just getting rid of the snow. Feels like it's quite self-explanatory, but just kind of wanted to check. Can you take any damage? It looks like you can't. It looks like you can't take any damage when you're in this form, which is pretty cool. Oh, oh no no please Yuka Laylee someone ah oh. <laughs> fell down that's fine we would kind of wanted to be in the water anyway to go find the pirate which way was he I think he was around the other side of this wall all right what do you got for his friend right is that every snowman done finally shiver me timbers oh shiver e timbers is free to plague the seas once more nope. Still nada. Still nothing. Still diddly squat. Oh, that's how you do it this whole time. When you're feeling toasty and do a butt slam, then that's how you get it. Oh. So there you go. Make yourself feel toasty. You do a bum slam on it, and then it turns it into a proper fire. Really proper stoked fire. Look. Oh, you don't even have to do that. You just have to touch it. Never even tried that. Don't know why I didn't think to try that. I just didn't. My bad. Right. So does that now mean we can deal with this guy? However, you're meant to deal with this guy. Oh! <laughs> didn't realize I only had one butterfly. My bad. So this guy definitely deal... Just, uh, just, bleh. Oh, careful. This guy definitely strikes me as a damage dealing kind of guy. Where he'll kind of dash at you. And then he turns yellow whenever he misses. Yeah, look, there you go. Nailed him. Oh, dude, it's finally all coming together. Okay. I'm a happy boy now. Oh, no, I fell in the water. <laughs> Oops. That's my fire put out. So I guess my only question now is when you finally get up here, if you do it the correct way, not my dodgy way, going across the top. Uh, <laughs> and that actually drops the, it raises the temperature enough. Let's get out of here, Yuka, and find all sorts of horrible critters in caves. Right. That's how that all plays out. If you do it proper way. Not in the little way, as we like to call it. <laughs> well, I guess at the very least, we've found out a little bit of a strat for speedrunning. Like, that's a much quicker way of getting a pagey, I imagine. Yeah, I'm starting to think that I've kind of done and found everything in this build now. I wasn't expecting, like, a thanks for playing this demo. But I thought there'd be a little bit more of a definitive thing. Like, maybe even going through that gigantic door in the water or up in the castle. But it doesn't feel like that's going to happen. And I've checked out a couple of Twitch VODs as well. Of various different streamers from across the platform play who have played this demo. And none of them have really found anything that I haven't. So if you do know of any other little goodies or secrets, then do let me know. And then keep an eye out on April 11th. That's when the game releases. And potentially before that is when I might be able to start my Let's Play. So hopefully I'll see you all there. Oh, and as well, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, Zelda Breath of the Wild begins. So excited. Bye.